Animal Crossing New Horizons is genuinely one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm only about two months into playing it. That being said, there's a lot of small quality of life things that this game could do better. And I encourage if any of you guys have any suggestions as well, leave them in the comments down below. That being said, let's get started. Bulk crafting is first on this list because frankly, everybody who has played this game, even a little bit, has been begging for it. Especially how discouraging it is to craft stuff like bait. When you need to get that specific fish and you need to craft a lot of bait, your entire inventory is full of manila clams and it takes literally like 10 minutes to craft each and every one of them into bait. You're just sitting there, you're spamming A, looking at Reddit or something like that while you're doing it, when in reality it could just take seconds if it said, hey, how many do you want to craft? And this goes for more than just bait. More often than not, a lot of people have been in a situation where they want to craft more than just one thing at a time. This is a much needed feature that is frankly inexcusable that it's not in there yet. If you're using a crafting table in your house, it should pull from storage. Now this seems pretty obvious, right? It's very frustrating and very inconvenient to have to go into your storage, pull out what you need, craft what you need, put it back into storage, and then be on your merry way. When in reality, all you should have to do is walk in there, access your crafting table, and immediately it should use all the materials that are in your storage to list all the things that are craftable for you. Oh my goodness, did you see that thing that happened on TV last night? Meanwhile, uh, Flick is outside, Gulliver washed up on your shore, a meteor landed in your town, a 9.8 earthquake is happening right now. Why didn't she say these things in the announcements, okay? Not the earthquake and the meteor and all that stuff, but if Flick is in your town, if CJ's in your town, if Gulliver is washed ashore, she should say these things in the announcements, because how often... Have you sold, like, an inventory worth of bugs, only to realize later that Flick is in your town, he's just at a part of the island that you haven't been to yet? This could all be alleviated if she would just say if any special NPCs are visiting you right now. It'd be a lot more interesting than seeing that a sock washed up in your drying machine last night. Now, I'm not the uh, artistically inclined type. I personally don't make a lot of designs, but I know a lot of people tried to make secondary characters in this game only to realize that they share all the design slots. You should have more design slots and you should certainly have separate design slots per character. Now I know that the amount of design slots that we have right now far outclasses that that we had in previous games but still it's never enough if you ask me. Oh, hey, you got, uh, you got too much shit littered all over your town. You got to clean that up. Oh, I'm sorry. If I actually had a place to put all my turnips, my DIYs, my flowers, I would actually clean up a little bit around here. It's honestly so stupid that you're not able to store these things because you were in previous games. Now, DIYs weren't a thing, but turnips you were always able to store in your storage in New Leaf. Same thing with flowers. I have a ridiculous amount of flowers around my town that I just put on the ground or throw away or sell because I don't have anywhere to put them. Now, I always thought that it would be a good idea to get like a special item from maybe Blathers or something like that, like a, a greenhouse storage or uh, something like that. Your DIYs can maybe be stored in a workbench for when other people want them and your turnips could be stored, I mean, heck, in your storage, God forbid. Considering Nook Miles tickets are usually the currency for uh, buying and exchanging things between islands, it's kind of a pain in the ass how you can only buy one at a time. Much like the bulk crafting, it's a very tedious process to want to buy more than one, and it's kind of silly, honestly. Especially considering you have villagers out there on the villager traffic- <laughs> I mean villager trading market that are worth several hundred tickets per. It makes it a big pain in the ass when you gotta buy a lot of tickets at a time and you can only buy one like every 10 seconds.
I'm always very hesitant to bring over a lot of people over to my town because of how long it takes to load everyone into my town. Now, this would not be a perfect system, but I think it would be a lot better if you could queue a group of people into your multiplayer session. So instead of a dodo code for everybody, what you could do is a uh, group dodo code to where you have seven people that want to visit your island that all plug in that dodo code and they get put in a lobby. And then once that lobby is full or once a uh, countdown is done, then everybody in that that lobby will be flown over to your island at the same time as opposed to each and every single person punching in that dodo code coming over one at a time getting errors uh, for interference when somebody's traveling at the moment it's a huge pain in the butt and I don't think that would make multiplayer perfect in this game but it would be a heck of a lot better than it already is Oh, what's that? You want to take an existing bridge in your town and you want to make it into a different type? Nope, sorry, you got to destroy it completely and you got to rebuild the entire one from scratch with the intended bridge or incline design. It'd be a lot more convenient for me to want to edit an existing bridge or an incline and have it take effect the next day as opposed to demolishing it, waiting till the next day, rebuilding it with the design that you want, waiting till the next day for it to be done. It saves time, and it saves money. Have you ever wanted to move a house or a building just like a few blocks uh, in any direction, only to be said that you're interfering with the already existing building right there? You know, the one that you're trying to move. So instead, what you gotta do is you gotta move it halfway across your island and then bring it back the next day. Now, similar to the uh, bridges and inclines, it's just another day and more money that's wasted in this whole process when in reality there should be no reason why i can't just move it a few spaces in any direction with the ability to terraform come some pretty interesting land designs now that includes uh cliffs and high elevation areas that would make it very easy to bridge across unfortunately nintendo did not decide that that is necessary the only place that you can bridge across in your town is over bodies of water. How cool would it be if you could connect two pieces of land in your town with a bridge? I know the five item limit from your catalog has been a thing in previous games. I'm pretty sure it's always been five items, but that's no reason as to why this game limits it to five. But I really don't see a reason as to why the arbitrary five limit is still a thing. It would be amazing if you could just buy bait from the store. Instead of having to fill up your inventory with manila clams, which is my favorite flavor of clam, by the way, and then going through the tedious process of crafting each and every single clam into bait. How good would it be if you could just buy it from the store? Or, better yet, give CJ even more functionality by making it so that he sells bait on days that he's in your island. Along with that, why can't people who are visiting your island interact with CJ? Only the island host can use CJ or Flick when he's on your island. I don't understand this. I, I, don't, I don't get this one at all. I don't know why visitors can participate in the uh, bug and fish tournaments and yet not sell fish to CJ and Flick when they're in a town that isn't theirs. My favorite thing in this game is going on villager hunts when I have an open slot in my town. Now, it would be really fun if I still saw villagers on islands when my town was full and that maybe gave you the option for them to camp in your town. I always thought that would be cool. Seeing villagers on islands, one of my favorite things, and even if I can't move them into my town or I don't want them in my town, it makes mystery islands a lot more interesting. A durability indicator would be really nice for our tools. Now, in previous games, uh, we had a durability indicator on our axes, which were the only tools that could break. And the indicator was just showing, like, cracks and wear in the axe in general. Even something small like that would be nice. Not, like, specifically a bar a la Minecraft to tell you how close your tool is to breaking, but just something to indicate that it's close to death. <laughs> 
I don't really understand the stack limits in this game, like how weeds can stack up to 99, but fruit can only stack up to 10, and how stuff like manila clams doesn't stack at all. I don't really get it. I think everybody would be in favor of higher stack limits on things and making some things that aren't already stackable, stackable. For convenience's sake, it would just make the game a lot better. Tools breaking in Animal Crossing is already a feature that's kind of come with mixed reception. So why is it that the golden tools that we've worked so hard for still break? Now granted they have a lot more durability than regular tools, but in my opinion, we have to work really hard for these golden tools only to still be met with the same fate that regular tools have, in that they break after a certain amount of uses. It sort of takes away from the achievement of working so hard to getting these tools in the first place if you ask me. In previous games, you had lockers that were in everybody's town that would access your storage from back in your town. It would be really convenient for stuff like selling turnips where you could stuff all your turnips in there or take them back out to sell on someone else's island. In this game though, you would have to stuff your inventory full of turnips and have to do multiple trips should you not have enough room. Or let's say you forgot something back in your town. Whoops, guess you gotta go through five minutes of loading screens now. How many times have you aimed your shovel or your terraforming tool in one direction only for the game to be like, nah, you wanted to go to this direction instead? A tile indicator to tell you which block you're placing something on or which block you're destroying is a much needed feature that seems like it should have came naturally with the ability to terraform. Much like how you can get Nook Shopping on your phone after buying 100 items, you should be able to get an ABD phone app as well. Maybe after saving a certain amount of money, it should be granted onto your Nook phone. If you're going to craft a customizable item, it should give you the option to customize it when you craft it, as opposed to having to make it and then customizing it afterwards. Along with that, after I'm done crafting something, it should allow me to switch to customize, as opposed to backing out, reaccessing the workbench, and then going to customize. If you're going to make fruits stack to 10, then you should be able to eat multiples at the same time, much like you can with turnips. Being about two months into the game right now, I'm already getting a lot of duplicate DIYs. I wish they were more weighted into giving you ones that you don't already have. It seems like that's the case with the ones that wash up on the beach, but the ones that I get from my villagers are basically always duplicates anymore. I think that all these changes would take what is already a fantastic game to be even better. A lot of them are small, simple things that could be uh, relatively easily implemented over the course of several updates along the game's lifespan. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for quality of life changes and general convenience fixes for Animal Crossing New Horizons, leave them down in the comments below. Until next time though, thanks for watching and join me on twitch.tv slash Dagnall. I stream every day, play some Animal Crossing New Horizons and other games similar to that, uh, Terraria, Stardew, Minecraft. A lot of the clips used in this video were pulled from my live stream, so if it seems like something you enjoy, come on by. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.